I'm Joe McIntyre, and this is Career on Purpose. On this podcast, we explore the unique job opportunities, career paths, training, and professional growth opportunities available across the globe at the company. From first-person interviews with successful and inspiring employees, to helpful tips, tricks, and insights for finding a job in the world of life sciences, Career on Purpose will give you, our listeners, an exclusive look into the careers and opportunities of today and tomorrow. On this episode, we're speaking with Pernil Fresland, whose journey with the company began in 1997 and has continued to the present day. That's more than 27 years with the company and included a transition from marketing-focused roles to business practices. Pernil currently serves as Director, Business Practices, International Marketing, and joins us from Denmark. She'll talk to us about her unique journey and how development is not always linear. It requires a willingness to embrace change in divisions and functions. Pernil, thank you for joining us on the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. So first, can you give us a bit about your background before you joined the company? Sure. Yeah. So it was back in the days, right? 1997. So prior to joining the company, I was after attending a business high school, trained as a medical assistant at a hospital setting. And then I worked one year as a paralegal with the Ombudsman of the Parliament uh, in Copenhagen. And then moving into private sector, um, where I worked one year as a marketing assistant or marketing coordinator at Organon. Um, so yeah, that that's like 27 years old, and then I joined the company. Yeah, so take us back to 1997 a little bit. Why did you decide to join the company? What was it about here, this place, that made it so special and worthwhile to join? The world was very, very different back then, right? So reading the newspaper back then, you know, there were big sections with, with job ads. Uh, and going through that, there was this big ad with a marketing coordinator role with the company. And, and it was just very intriguing. Um, speaking about all the company's reputations and how they were working uh, in global healthcare, uh, something about the mission and, and just generally, you know, I was very young, eager to work uh, in a big corporate organization. Um, it just looked very inspiring. And with that, I asked CPs in my network and also colleagues uh, with Organon and they said, we think it's a really good place to be. Mm-hmm. So I applied and I got the job. That's fantastic. So currently you work as Director, Business Practices, International Marketing. Can you give our audience a bit about what that role entails? What's a day in the life for you? What do you do every day? So, yeah, it's a question I get quite often uh, on what does business practices actually entail. And what, what I try to explain is that business practices is a support in how to uh, enable the marketing team uh, to find the right route, look at can things be done, how can they be done? If we talk about market research projects, uh, how do we engage with ACPs or uh, consumer activation projects? Um, all sorts of marketing uh, activities could be uh, come into play, but with that also other different stuff. So day to day, of course, as as many people do in, in the corporate world, a lot of team meetings. I, I have many touch points with uh, teams, also individuals, discussing uh, various projects. Um, so yeah, I think quite classic corporate life. Pernil, your time at the company has consisted of a number of different roles, from marketing to the business area and a few in between. Can you talk to us about why that is and how the company uh, kind of embraces that ability or gives you and others that ability to try your hand in a few different roles and see what fits for you. Yeah, thank you. And I think that that's a very instrumental question because that actually speaks exactly to what what the company can offer. I have been very fortunate to um, have had an appetite to try something new and the company has had Um, the ability to offer me various roles and uh, I was going to say often or sometimes roles that I I hadn't even thought about because there are so many different uh, functions and divisions that you don't need to to stay in one area of course it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight it doesn't happen by itself Um, something is organic of course but yeah if if you have an open mind um, yeah and and are 
embracing change and are curious, wanting to learn new things, um, as I have been, I think that then uh, there's, um, I was going to say the sky is the limit, but it does enable you as as a person to to contribute effectively to to many various successes and areas within the company. Yeah, that has to be one of the benefits of a larger company is if you have you've been working in one role and then you say, hey, I like this company, but I want to try something new. And because of the size of the company, it kind of gives you that opportunity to say, hey, am I able to try this new job here or would I be a fit for that? And then having those resources or support to be able to give you that is pretty special. Thinking back also, so what type of resources has the company provided me? Um, I was going to say uh, it's it's a it's a big shelf with many opportunities. So you also need to have curiosity to look for, um, you know, do you want to, is, is it on the job training? Do you want to have external training? There's a lot of online resources. So it's also a matter of, wanting to invest both your your time and your brain energy. Um, but I think having all this available, there are so many people with so much diverse experience and also willingness to, to teach and, and learn. So I think what I always articulate when, when people ask me about uh, the company and my, my journey there, I, I always mention uh, the school of the company, because it's both been internal on the job training, but also any external, it's soft skills, it's hard skills. And for me personally, I've, I've became, been given the opportunity to, to look into corners that I didn't know <laughs> that actually would, would be of my interest. So I think to, to a large extent, all of that, the sum of that has, uh, yeah, giving me the ability to, uh, to grow staying with the company and grow in various roles. Can you talk to us a little bit about what it was like moving specifically from a marketing position or a marketing role to a business focused role? What was that transition like for you? Yeah, it was quite interesting one because basically I I had no idea what I was going into. Of course, I've seen colleagues covering roles as such. on the other hand, I was quite sure that I'll be really good at it, and which I think is a good combination of uh, confidence and ignorance. But shifting a job family like that, I, ha- I had those uh, kind of imposter uh, thoughts on, you know, can I do this? Uh, but I also knew that there was a, a great support system around me. I had great colleagues who were already in that role reaching out and asking for mentorship, for for just being good colleagues. Tell me, you know, what does good look like? What route should I take? And and basically also um, be curious and, and try to understand the full ecosystem of my new role. Um, and I think that was, uh, it was quite, it was um, just daring to take that step. Um, and then actually learning that uh, it was it was actually quite phenomenal uh, and, a, and a great experience to, that I'm now living. So you've been with the company since 1997. That can feel like quite a while, but because you've had opportunities to work in a number of different roles with different people doing different things every single day, does it feel like you've been at one place for as long as you have? Or does it feel like I've actually had the chance to work in a bunch of different areas and build a number of different skills? So, yeah, I think it's actually a bit of both because being in so many different roles that I actually have and also have have been fortunate to work both local and, and region, it's been quite diverse. So it's it's been very different. But the DNA in the company, that, that, that goes gro- across. So uh, I've always had that, you know, this is the company and, and it's the DNA of the company. So... Um, I think it's a bit of both, but the foundations are always there. The values of the company, that has kind of been filtered into every role. So, Pranil, what sorts of support did the company provide you in these new roles? Earlier, you mentioned how internal support was key on the job training, but also external. How has that combination of both internal and external training and support helped you be so successful? Um, Yeah, I think... Exactly that flexibility has been uh, quite instrumental for me 
that I've had that. But it's also a dialogue all, always with your with your direct manager. What direction do you want to go? But also, on the other hand, if you are quite content with what you do, there is also you can stay in your role. You can you can grow in that role. It's not like you need to um, change roles and move into other divisions. I think the blessing here is that it's an opportunity and that it's open. And if you're willing uh, to embrace the change, then uh, then you can do that. For me, it's it's been instrumental to have that opportunity because I am um, I'm quite I have a big appetite for learning, um, and and that has been provided to me by the company. So um, for that, I'm very grateful. During your time with the company, I'm sure you've seen plenty of people come and go. You mentioned a need to be curious, a desire to learn as a couple of aspects that make a successful person here. But what else? What types of people do you see thrive at the company most often? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself because the curiosity, the big corporate world is is not for everybody. It's for most, but there are also individuals who think that there are too many processes uh, or, or or too too much matrix or, or too much change. I, I think um, you know, if you are change adverse, uh, it's definitely not a place for you because you need you need to move with, with the change that eventually will will happen. I guess, of course, that goes across all industries. But in a very big corporate organization as the company, it's it's instrumental that you um, you have that open mindset. And I was also going to say some of the colleagues I've had that I've worked, I was going to say almost with the best, has not been twins of me or similar to me. They've been quite different. And I think that is one of the things that I actually have loved about uh, working with the company for so many years, that uh, there's room for so many different opinions and people and, and life perspectives and, and skill sets. Um, but what people need is to have some sort of adaptability and also um, a change mindset, learning mindset, um, and also a, a, a good eye on on ethics and uh, and and morale, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that I think that's key for for everyone, and I think that's kind of embedded in most employees at the company. Now, finally, what is one piece of advice you would give to a new employee at the company or someone even who's considering joining? What would you tell them? Either a, hey, here's something I would suggest you do, or here's my tip for a new employee. You come with great potential. Um, seek out the opportunities. Uh, there are many. Um, and remember that your, your, your perspective is unique. Stay curious and and uh, and and be authentic make sure that you know uh that that you you stay you um and that you have a lot a lot to bring to the company also take ownership don't wait for or don't consider your career um as as your manager's responsibility it will always be your own responsibility to um to of course seek out what was there? Have the conversation. Um, build your network, your 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 circle of trust. Nobody can do it alone. I think that's an advice I would tell them. Pernille, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your experiences. It was great to hear from you. Thank you so much for having me. It was uh, truly a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you, of course, to our listeners as well for tuning into this episode. To hear future episodes, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts. For anyone interested in learning more about careers at Merck, please visit jobs.merck.com. For the Career on Purpose podcast, I'm Joe McIntyre. Thanks for listening.